Hey everybody, in this video I'll be uh, helping you to rip your DVDs to your computer. Uh, you'll have it down in no time, it's actually really simple. Uh, you just need the right software and of course a uh, DVD drive in your computer. If uh, you want to burn it back onto another DVD, you'll uh, need to make sure that your DVD drive is also capable of burning DVDs. Um, it'll say DVD-RW right on it. Uh, most new ones, most relatively new ones are within the past few years. Um, now it should be easy to rip DVDs, but uh, things like copy protection have uh, made it difficult for a lot of people. And uh, most DVDs have this copy protection. Copy protection means that the video files on the DVD discs are encrypted, uh, or there are certain tricks in the format uh, of the DVD that uh, prevent it from being copied. Uh, they are uh, encrypted with an encryption standard called CSS, which uses 40-bit uh, encryption. Uh, the newest DVDs also use uh, tricks in the DVD format to try and trip up uh, software that tries to copy it. Uh, these tricks are effect effective against some software that is uh, of lower grade, and uh, that's another problem for people trying to rip their DVDs. It's uh, badly made software. Um, I've used some software before and I've had problems. There seems to be a lot of uh, variability in DVD ripping software. Uh, many of them are very cheaply made and don't use uh, your PC to its potential. So they work really slow or they're even very buggy and uh, can't get past uh, some copy protection. Um, so you should be careful what software you use is the moral of the story. Um, but uh, luckily there's, there is software, like uh, the one that I'm going to show you, that uh, can overcome all of this and uh, makes it really painless to copy your DVDs so you can uh, spend more time watching them and less time uh, wasting your time with uh, software. Um, I've got uh, this one on my computer right here. It's called Wondershare DVD Ripper Pr Platinum. Uh, it's for PC or Mac and uh, I have the PC version right now. This is a uh, download link, by the way, if you want to download a free trial version of it right now. But uh, anyway, it's uh, really streamlined and you can uh, copy the disc and convert it to any format you want uh, within the program, such as uh, iPod or uh, iPad or uh, other mobile devices like uh, HTC and Blackberry or uh, online video formats for YouTube or HD formats like uh, MKV. Uh, pretty much anything this software will take care of it. Um, you can customize the output video too if you want. So uh, I'll show you how it works. Okay, I'm just uh, going to show you how uh, easy it is to do this with the Wondershare uh, DVD ripper that I have here. Uh, I have a DVD in my drive right now and I'm just going to open up the program. And then the first thing you do is just click load DVD. Then you select your DVD drive. And uh, this is about decoding the DVD. Most new DVDs you click special mode and uh, it'll disable the encryption on the DVD. If it doesn't work um, you can click co common mode and uh, it'll uh, decode those DVDs but it should work for pretty much any DVD that exists. So I'm going to click special mode for this DVD because I already know that it's going to work. Does it pretty quick though. And then uh, I'm going to uh, rip a little clip from the main movie file. So I'm going to uncheck uh, all of these because these are some of these are just the menu or uh, like previews or something. And uh, the main movie file is going to be the biggest one. So this one's 1 1.4 gigabytes. So I'm going to select that and then I'm going to click clip here. And uh, I'm going to just skin off a little short little clip, just 30 second little clip in the middle of the movie somewhere. Um, just something I can rip quick to sh show you. Um, and then you can also uh, click edit if you like and there are a bunch of things you can edit uh, about the movie. There's uh, you can crop it so if I wanted to crop it down you can see the output here that's gonna come. I can uh, crop it down to any size I want and you can uh, also change some effects brightness level, contrast level, saturation, change the look of the movie, there's effects like uh, an old film effect, so uh, whatever, what the hell, I'll turn it on, and uh, what next, 
just click uh, the profile here that you'd like to rip to. So right now it's set for an iPhone 4. Um, you can uh, rip to all kinds of different uh, video files though, AVI files, MKV uh, HD files, um, MOV, Apple QuickTime files, and of course all of these uh, uh, devices you can also uh, rip to just like uh, standard profiles for the devices. So HTC, Blackberry, uh, Microsoft Zune, uh, there's pretty much anything you'd want to rip to. So I'm just going to leave it on iPhone 4 for now. And you can also edit settings right here. All the uh, video and audio settings. Uh, so I think that's it. I'm going to click start and we'll skip this part. I'm going to come back when it's done. Okay, so uh, the movie's finished, and you can see it uh, output it to my desktop. And now I'm free to put it on my iPod or wherever I like. It. It's also fast compared to other rippers. Um, how fast you can rip a video totally depends on the speed of your computer. Um, but uh, this does support uh, multiple cores. If your computer has more than one uh, CPU core, and it'll make it a lot faster. And it also supports uh, NVIDIA uh, graphics acceleration. So if you have uh, an NVIDIA uh, graphics card, which uh, it supports, then uh, apparently it can accelerate it up to uh, six times faster, the uh, ripping speed. Uh, I don't have one, so I'm not uh, entirely sure about that, though. It's still pretty fast with uh, my desktop computer. So uh, anyway, you can see how easy it is to do with this program. Um, to see if uh, it'll work for you, there's a trial of the program that you can download and uh, see if it's what you need and try it before you get it. Um, you can download the trial link at the link right here in this video or uh, I also put the link in the description for you. You can click it there. Um, you can get the PC or the Mac version uh, through that link. So anyway, I hope it works well for you, and uh, take care.